Okay, how do we do this quest? Well, here you have several things that you need to be extremely careful with, okay? You have an absolute value, you have parentheses, so let's do everything step by step. Let's start with the parentheses. Look at this. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 because you have equal signs. Negative 5 here. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. You can notice that I'm still leaving them with the exponents because now that's going to be the second step. I keep writing everything down so to make sure that I don't miss anything and I go negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. But here you have to be careful. Negative 3 to the 0 we need to remember any number that is elevated to the zero is going to be equals to one. However, I still need to bring this negative down. Okay? Now we're going to do the absolute value. Let's remember the absolute value of a number is always positive. So the absolute value of negative two is just literally just two. But this negative has to go down because I cannot do negative times negative equals positive because this is an absolute value, not a parenthesis. Finally, I just do negative 2 plus 25 minus 1, which is the same thing as writing 25 minus 2 minus 1 or 25 minus 3. My final answer is 22. That's how easy it is.